Hey guys, Lotus Tech here back again with another video. So in this video, I thought we should do something different and in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to get free games on your PlayStation 3. So over here is my PlayStation 3 Slim, but this guide is going to work if you have a fat PS3, a PlayStation Slim, or a PlayStation Super Slim. Now, it doesn't matter which one you're running. For example, when I mean which one is like Ken or just an actual jailbreak, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that you have multi-man content manager right here. This is the main thing we're going to be using when it comes to getting our games installed and everything. So, what do we have to do to get this started? Now, the first thing you want to do is make sure you're connected to the internet. So, we're going to go all the way down into network settings. And we're going to go have, make sure our internet's connected. So, for me, I have my internet connected and everything. Now, the same network you joined on your PS3, you also want to make sure your computer is on the same network as well. If they are both not on the same network, then you are going to run into issues and it won't work that well at all. Not even that well, it won't work at all. But you want to make sure that you are on the same network as your PS3 and computer. From here, what you want to do is you want to go on settings and connection status. You're going to see this IP address is your PS3's IP address. So we're going to make sure we have this PS3 IP address sorted down. So it's going to be probably different for you or it might be the same. But this is your PS3's IP address. So you want to make sure you have it written down somewhere so it'll be easy to do. Now from here, if you don't have hand enabled like I do, I'm going to go enable it real quick. Your jailbreak. So you just want to press that and we're going to wait for it to get enabled real quick. And there we go. We're on PS3 hand now, and now my application should work perfectly fine. So once we are here, you want to go into multi-man content manager, as you can see here. So we're going to load this in real quick. We're just going to wait for this to load. It takes a second to load. So we're just going to wait. And while it's loading, you want to make sure you have your ROMs ready to go. So. To get your ROMs, I can't show you where, but you'll kind of get a hint in the video where I got my ROMs, but you'll see where you can get your ROMs. Now, once we're over here in Multiman Content Manager, you want to go into Settings right here. Now, you're going to see it looks like the same XMB UI as your regular PS3, but it's a bit different. So, we're going to go on FTP Service, and you want to press X. You're going to be brought into the side menu right here. What you want to have is Enable No Timeouts. You want to select this. This is the main thing that you want to have selected. The next thing you want to do here is just let multi-man run here and the rest is really on the PC. So we're just going to let multi-man do its thing. We're just going to leave it here. You want to make sure your PS3 doesn't turn off. You don't want to have it off. And you just want to leave this thing running here just the way it is and that's all. So we're going to go on the PS3. Not the PS3. We're going to go on the PC now and I'll show you what to do from there. So here we are back on our PC over here. So there's a few things we want to do on here. What you want to do is make sure you have your ROM over here. So I'm going to be getting Deadpool because the new movie came out and I want to play Deadpool. So over here is our zip file right here, but I don't know why it's showing as a paper icon. But this is the hint you're going to get for the ROMs. But um, yeah, if we go open the folder, as you can see, this is the game files right here. But what we need is just this folder inside of that folder. So we're going to open this one. We really just need this one right here, not this thing right here if you get the hint you get the hint but what we need to do on the PC is we want to download files so we're gonna press download file client and once it's all done and set up you should be brought into something right here so we're just gonna go open this up and we're just gonna press decline and we're gonna press add remove next 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 we're gonna press next and we're just gonna wait for all this to finish downloading so it takes a minute to do so once it's over here, it's going to say completing FileZilla and we're going to press finish. And now we are brought over here to FileZilla. Now remember, you want to have Multi-Man Content Manager already opened on your um, PS3 before we get into this. Otherwise, you won't be able to use FTP to transfer your games at all. So what do we do now? Now a lot of this over here looks confusing, but on this side right here is going to be your computer's, um, what's it called? files over here and this is just a pathway for that but what we want to do is you want to go on host now that IP address I made you write earlier you want to type it back in so I'm typing my IP address in for the PS3 so this is the PS3's IP address and you should press quick connect if you did everything right you're gonna see there's these files now on the side where it says dev hdd0 and all this these are your ps3's files on the hard drive itself or just your ps3's actual files 
So what you want to do is you want to click dev underscore hdd0. And then over here, you're going to see a bunch of things over here. So now this is where you can put your PKG files, your PS2 to PS3, PS1, PSP, ISOs, all those games you can put over here to run. You can also put in other stuff over here. So this is just one way to put in games for those other consoles as well. Now, what you want to do is you want to go into games right here. And this is the main area where you're going to go. So remember, this is our game right here. But when you don't want to drag and drop, you just don't want to drag and drop the file just like that. You can't do that. What you want to do is you want to drag and drop this one to the root of the SD card. The one inside it. And a good way to know is opening this one. If it says these files in here, then you're good. You just drag and drop that in there. If you don't do that, then it's not going to work. So you just want to drag and drop it and wait for it to finish downloading. And once it's done, we'll go back on the PS3. So here we are back on the PS3 right here. So if you did everything right, you should go into games right here. And if it doesn't show right, you just want to go again. It'll reload. And you should see Deadpool here somewhere. So let's go look for Deadpool. And... We're going to click refresh real quick. And there we go. There is Deadpool. So now we have Deadpool all downloaded over here. And we can run it from here. So if I click this, it's going to say verifying data. And we're just going to wait for it to go. And it should just work from there. Now that's one way to go from there. Is just launching it through Multi-Man Content Manager. Which I usually don't do. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait for this to finish. And we're back at the home menu. Perfect. So, if you don't boot it from Multiman Content Manager, it won't be good. I don't do it that way. You can see it's over here as a disk. But what I do is I go on Webman Games. And then I just go on PlayStation 3. I just select it from here. And then it will load in the disk right here. So, we're just going to wait. And now we have the disk right here for Deadpool. And then when we click it, it should run. So, let's just wait real quick. Give it a second for this to fully load in and there we go the game works perfectly fine so yeah this is just a quick way to get games for your ps3 um it's a pretty easy tutorial to do you just need to find a way to get the games but i'm, I'm pretty sure i give you guys a good hint where you can get the games i just can't say it or link it anywhere but um yeah if this video helped you then like and subscribe and yeah thank you for watching